this video, I will explain how to spread the wings of a butterfly or moth. The supplies you'll need include insect pens, a pinning block, a spreading board or styrofoam sheet, strips of wax paper, and a pair of scissors. These supplies are available for purchase from an insect supply company, but can be assembled from material from around the house. First, let's take a look at a spreading board. Typically, one side of the board is adjustable and can be narrowed or widened depending on the size of the butterfly or moth's body. It should be set just wider than the thorax of the insect. Be sure to tighten the screws before spreading the butterfly, otherwise the wings could be destroyed. You may also use a styrofoam board to spread your insect. In this case, cut out a strip of the styrofoam slightly wider than the butterfly and deep enough so that the wings are flush with the surface. For today's example, we use a standard spreading board, but the steps are the same with a styrofoam sheet. First, remove your butterfly or moth from the freezer or relaxing chamber. If it's in the freezer, let it thaw out for a few minutes. The warmth of your hand will be enough to thaw it quickly. Next, you need to pin the butterfly through the top of its thorax, right between the wings. Holding the insect's body carefully with one hand, stick an insect pin partially through the thorax. At this point, check to be sure that the pin is going straight through the body. Then put the insect on the top step of a pinning block and push until the pin stops. Be sure that the block is on a solid surface. The pinning block assures that all of your insects are pinned at the same height and makes room below its body for the data and identification labels. Now, carefully push the pin into the middle of the spreading board until the base of the wings is even with the sides of the board. Sometimes a new board may be tough to push the pin into if the middle is made of wood. You can fix this by forcing a few pinholes in the wood prior to spreading your insect. At this point, I usually put an insect pin on either side of the abdomen to prevent the body from shifting when I move the wing. Take a strip of wax paper and slide it between the wings. Then, pin the paper to the board with a couple of insect pins. Don't worry about position yet, you'll fix that soon. Push the pins through the wax paper close to the wings, but not through the wings themselves. Repeat these steps for the other side. Next, we'll move the wings into their final position. To do this, find one of the thick veins in the front wing. Gently place the point of an insect pin just behind that vein and slide the wing forward until the back margin of the front wing is at a right angle to the body. Avoid touching the soft regions between the veins because the pin will tear the wing. Pin the wax paper down in this position. This might take a couple of pins. Find a thick vein near the base of the hind wing and slide it forward a bit as needed. Its leading edge will be under the hind margin of the front wing. Pin it in place. Repeat these steps with the other side. And that's it. If needed, you may also position the antennae gently with your insect pin, holding them in place with more wax paper. Place the spreading board in a protected spot until the butterfly is dry. The drying period may take a few days for a butterfly or up to a week for a large moth. Carefully raise a corner of the wax paper. If the wing shifts, it's not yet dry. Correct the position and give it more time. Here, you see another species of butterfly that's already dry. Carefully remove each pin and wax paper from the spreading board. Notice how the front wings are perpendicular to the body and slightly overlap the base of the hind wings. If you have a data or identification label, you can put that on the pin in the space below the insect. Now the insect's ready to be placed in a display container. These insects are fragile at this point, but if you're careful, it can be enjoyed in your collection for many years. Thank you.